Hey YouTube, this is a uh, early Monday, late Sunday uh, evening, and uh, I'm going to be quiet once again because a lot of people are sleeping, and obviously a lot of people are actually awake with us. Um, we just got done playing about 20 rounds of BotCon, Bot Shots, Sugar Shots, which is, they were doing, our, our, the rest of our group here was planning on doing bot shot shots with alcohol and uh, we decided to do it with soda and pixie sticks. So it's uh, what time is it? It's only about a quarter to one which is about what we've been doing so we're not doing too bad right now. But, um, so I have a lot of stuff. Some of this is going to be repeats of the past days because I forgot that I've shown it and I'm just showing it again. Other stuff I forgot to show for instance the uh, card for Hall of Fame. I never showed that, I don't think. And uh, and I got more posters for Fall of Cybertron. So I'm going to go through all of them again, even the ones you've seen already. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show that. Um, so first off, again, once again, I have reserved my name for uh, the MMO. I plan on... Uh, this is just my reserve here. Apparently you can also do both Autobot and Cybertron once it comes out. Today, I went ahead and they had, uh, I found out they were giving away Creo sets, Mirage, and they also got me a little book of uh, rescue bots, rescue bots rolled out, which we had a lot of fun with, and sadly we didn't get to do what we wanted to do with it, but it was still a lot of fun. I uh, made my big purchase of the weekend, which was a Human Alliance sound wave, and uh, he is right here with his uh, SG headband on. He's awesome like that. He's rocking. Yeah, we need to go over here. He's rocking. He's got a laser beak on the back. Back him up. And uh, there's his legs, his hands. He's pretty cool. He's, he's definitely a human alliance figure. He's got gold in his hand there. <laughs> Uh, he's definitely a human alliance figure. He's about as bad as Barricade in, in terms of he's pretty, he compacts really well. And uh, I had a heck of a time trying to unfold him just, just to get the parts, like a part, to actually transform him into robot mode. So here's the golden tickets we got this year for the Hall of Fame. I'm going to be ungrateful. Okay. And time to get to these oh, posters. Alright, so we're going to start. Uh, you the evil stars, you're yeah. So again, Vortex was the first one we got. I believe uh, both times on Friday. So let's back this up. Go to Vortex. Uh, I believe next up was Grimlock. I think we got him second. So how much would that SBCC I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. So you that'd be, that'd be uh, totally acceptable. I could go for that, really, really. Fifteen dollars a figure, I said. I could totally go for that. Fifteen for the huge, beautiful box. It'd be about eighty. Oh man. So I was thinking about well, like well, 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 uh, then I got a little bit of 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 a little See if I know a few people from this place are going to be going in and I'm going to ask one of them to get it for me. Uh, so I'm totally looking forward to that. I want that much better color. It looks so much better. Okay. Let me finish up with this. Uh, here we have Optimus Prime. This new mode. I'm still not terribly fond. I actually like the toy. The way the, look, the toy looks, I actually like the toy. It just compared to the Fall of Cybertron Prime, if I ever find it, it's going to look small next to 
Four for Cyber Squad, or Fall Cyber Squad. Right. I'm getting the games mixed up. Four, Fall. You can go on the back if you want to, or go over the side. Uh, so next up, um, we have a film. Grimlock, who's Grimlock in Robot Mode? I have no idea. I think so far, I think I have all the. Uh, one of my favorites, Bruticus. And uh, that would be Brawl. Yay, he's the lady. And uh, last but not least, this one's not mine. I'm borrowing it from someone else, but it is another poster. I believe this was for pre ordering the game or liking them on Facebook. Like liking them on Facebook. Like. like them on Facebook got a thing. I already liked them on Facebook, so I don't know if I could have gone over to hey I like you on Facebook and I comment on it with very a good amount of time. Okay. Uh so this is upside down. This is a nice big poster. <laughs> of Grimlock and the Insecticons. No. They also had another one. Which was uh, Optimus Prime holding Bumblebee, who's damaged from the, uh, the images we've seen in, in the past. And another one, I believe, was also Grimlock and I think Optimus together. Uh, it was Grimlock behind Optimus, like sort of like the cover, I think. I'm gonna fold this up quick and roll it up real quick. And uh, I'm gonna show this last thing real quick, and then we'll get to something else someone else wants to show. And uh, then we'll get to, I think we'll do some talking about what we saw, like in uh, panels and whatnot, because I, I don't remember much, but let's just talk about it. Yeah. And I've got more stuff to talk about for the game and whatnot. So here, this is yours. My other purchase today was actually in the room. And because the person did not have room for it to take back with them, and I needed one, which I was planning to buy for cosplay, but never really got around to it, uh, I went ahead and I bought a Nerf custom, customized, <laughs> slightly, Nerf sword. So this is the big, the big Nerf sword, the twenty dollar model. Modern model sword. Modern model sword. So we went rampaging around Dallas during dinner with the long sword, and, and I had the map and. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna talk about that. No. Just just say what you need to say and then I'll, I'll hold it up. Well, that's, uh, we were, uh... We were on our way back from dinner when yeah. I was dragging the sword around. And somebody uh, apparently had uh, went into the dealer room and purchased a G1 broadside and must have dropped it along the, along the side of the road. And, uh, well, we picked it up and decided to keep it. And, uh, well, here it is. <laughs> yes, this is, uh, a brick. Brick. Well, she was broadside. She was broadside. That's the one you hear on the table. Um, so stuff, stuff, stuff. Well, today I got to see, uh, Fall of Cybertron outside of costume and it was actually working. And they also showed part of the transition from Starscream's level into Grimlock's level. So you start off playing as uh, your Starscream. He's sneaking around uh, Shockwave's you know, laboratory where the Insecticons are apparently serving him. They aren't just like mindless drones or anything, they're actually serving him. Um, and they're, they're doing the experimentation on Grimlock. And uh, they're Shockwave's reading his logs, and I don't think Shockwave didn't really have a definitive voice to me. He sounded very, uh, very plain. Uh, I don't know. What did you guys think? Yeah, but it wasn't even like, like. Shockwave is supposed to be cold, methodical, and emotionless. He was. Uh, a lot of the other characters to me like that are, uh, like Brawl. I think is more uh, this time around. Uh, apparently they are the final, as far as we know, the final voices. Uh, Grimlock is being voiced by Greg Berger. He sounds different, and apparently that's what they wanted. They, but they went ahead. They went away. They went ahead and tried him, and they they liked it, so they took him. He just sounds different than G1. Um, so yeah, this the what it is is the Starscream is sneaking around the Shockwave's laboratory. We get to listen to some of his logs as they're testing on Grimlock. Uh, 
Starscream gets around, uh, comes around to the control panel in the room, and uh, attempts to.